to be said that this truly is a tale of two brothers. Two brothers that were very close, but now more far apart than ever before. And I don't know if you agree on this, but it's really now more visible than Prince William's recent visit to New York City. A visit that went incredibly well, of course, for him. I mean, obviously he's very good at being on the world stage. No sort of rank hypocrisy, no diva demands, and more importantly, just there to do the job in hand. And when you saw the crowd, you realised exactly that this was not a celebrity crowd, but quite frankly a crowd ready to pay their due respects to a person that has been voted even more popular currently than the President of the United States. An incredible feat when you think about it, don't you think? But there's a bigger issue as ever, and this uh, really is resounding very darkly now for Meghan and Harry. And it all staples back to their final visit to New York City. As ever, let me explain. See, cast your mind back to May of this year and you saw exactly just how difficult, dark, demanding, and of course, diva-ish that visit for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry was for the Women in Vision Awards. Do you know the one where Meghan dressed in the gold dress and everybody said it's spectacular? A lot of people were rather unkind. I know nothing about fashion, so I really can't comment. But the bottom line was, all of these things are defined, aren't they, by a certain look address, you know, that sort of thing. But it's really what followed, as we all now know, the now infamous fake New York car chase, two hours around the streets of Manhattan, which had the mayor of New York City coming out to kind of hold back laughter and defend this ridiculous statement. And then, of course, the New York City Police Department really wanted to get hold of Prince Harry's uh, alleged footage, which he took from the car himself. In fact, there were snaps of him sat alongside his wife, Meghan, and the mother-in-law, Doria, uh, taking said pictures. But none of them looked particularly traumatized. Even worse, really, for them, and I bet you've forgotten this, they managed to track down the yellow cab driver who took over the driving duties, and he said, no, they were never in danger at any point. Totally, totally embarrassing, and I'm sure you'll agree. But what's interesting here is that the New York City Police Department came a-calling to try and put an end to this case. You see, they've had public embarrassment, let's not forget. They were very kind and gracious in offering security on the night at said event, alongside Prince Harry's own private security team. And what happened was, of course, they were made to look fools. There's no two ways about it. But like all good police departments, they followed through, requested, requested, never received any footage whatsoever. Now, according to a very well-placed source, and as ever, I have to say, allegedly, that the bottom line was this, that the New York City Police Department had now drawn a line under this escapade. I think we all did that a few months back, to be honest. But they have to go through all the right rules and regulations, and there will be no further action taken regarding this, well, total embarrassment. Now, if you really wanted to define exactly how to run a campaign, how to run a visit, then you're looking at His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, and of course, then you look at his younger brother, Prince Harry, who went along with this ridiculous statement for so long. This is something that even Meghan Markle's brand new team of entrepreneurs to turn her brand around cannot fix. It's out there. They came up with it, somebody stated it, and even one of their deluded journalistic alleged friends basically said it was catastrophic two hours, making this whole situation even worse. But what we can tell you is, as far as the New York City Police Department are concerned, while they've been welcoming Prince William, they're certainly not waiting for the arrival of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle back anytime soon. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.